A D S R Pro. Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. We're going to continue now looking at Halion 6 and what I thought I'd do is just go through creating some form of patch and uh, basically just by layering and stacking sounds using multiple synth sources. So let's just drag a program across into the slot rack. Uh, this creates our blank program and in the program tree we can then add a synth zone. Okay, so there's our synth zone. If we go to the edit tab and sound, this basically shows us all the options there. Let's just minimize that so we can see what's going on. So there's our oscillators and we've got three. I'm going to turn them off and let's just use one oscillator for now. Um, let's have a saw. I'm going to put multiple oscillator on and just add a bit of detune. So let's choose 3.8, a little bit of detune. Just makes a little bit of a thicker sound and let's add a new zone let's go granular this time again let me turn all of these off and let's just go to the granular so i'm going to click on the sample tab and i'm going to import a sample in here now i'm just going to use a c2 synth sample so let me just mute our first zone so there it is let's go back to grain And I think the first thing I'll do is let's, let's move it down a couple of octaves. And then let's add a little bit. And that'll do really for our, our grain, I think, right now. Let's just hear it together. Maybe just change the level a little bit. Okay, let's create a new zone and this time let's do a wavetable. Again, let's close all them down so we can see what we're doing. And again, we've got a couple of oscillators here. Oscillator 2 is on. Let's turn that one off. Let's just go to oscillator 1. And again, let's add a wavetable. And let's have a loop one. Let's see what that one's like. Again, let's solo it. Let's add a bit of multiple oscillators and detune to thicken it out a little bit. Let's bring it down an octave maybe. So that's all our three different types of synthesis layered together to create one unique sound. As you can hear, it's modulating, which is really nice. And of course, we can uh, increase that more using um, modulation matrix and so on. So let's just go back to our zone and let's go back to the synth zone and solo it. And let's just sculpt it a little bit now in the envelope. So let's go to amp envelope and let's add a little bit of release. That'll do. Let's go to our filter envelope now. Let's add a filter. 
turn the envelope amount up and go to the filter envelope and just let's have a little pluck So let's go to our grain and do something simple, uh, similar with the envelopes. A little bit of release. Let's turn filter on. Envelope on. Let's add a bit of distortion to that one. So our last song. There you go there's our stacked samples and of course you can do all sorts of different modulations with these each zone so let's let's have a look um in fact let's add a midi module let's create Let's have a look. Let's have a flex phraser in there. is just a guess here let's put the simps onto the bottom and I wonder if we can move a flex fraser no okay so the flex fraser is global
So that's a, a rough idea. Again, we could go into the modulation matrix. Let's go into zone one uh, mod matrix and let's just do an LFO onto filter cutoff, for instance, and apply a little bit of that. <laughs> to LFO1, we'll sync it to tempo, and I'll have retrig on, so you can hear, you can hear there what the LFO is doing, it's basically opening and closing the filter cut off a little bit, and obviously we could have different things on each one so on this one again let's have LFO and we'll do cut off again but going in the opposite direction Maybe I've an I four two. Let's just go to pan. So you can hear that panning now. Let's just bring it down a little bit. Of course, you can do the usual, just add a lot of effects. Again, I'll just have a little bit of reverb. And let's have a little bit of multi delay. So there you go, I mean, it is just a, a little rough example. You can spend a lot more time basically making sure everything sits and gels a lot better. We've roughly just uh, created three different types of synthesis and layered them together. Of course, uh, we can do a whole lot more in this program tree by separating, uh, having separate layers and creating individual things within each layer. Uh, this is basically just three different types of synthesis stacked on top of each other with a couple of effects on. Just to show you the possibilities, you know, you don't have to stick to one style of synthesis with Halion 6. So, you know, there's nothing stopping you having a few synth layers, uh, a couple of wavetables, you know, a few samples in there, uh, anything really, the organ. Um, you know, layer it up and enjoy. That's the main thing. And as usual, please do subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And until next time, bye bye. A D S R Pro.